I had so much fun yesterday with the uh, watercolor crayons and the raw canvas that I am going to do it again today because why not? I have also been thinking about these four colors to start with since basically I turned off the camera yesterday. So I am starting with those. And in case you didn't get to watch yesterday's video, um, this is a really fun technique that I tried a while back and then just retried again yesterday. And it involves using raw canvas and then a little bit of acrylic paint and a lot of water. And I'm using this like Acryla gouache by Whole Bean. It's an acrylic gouache paint, so it behaves a little bit like gouache or watercolor when it's wet, and then it dries like acrylic paint, so you can't move it. And, and then you also need some watercolor crayons. So I'm using the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2. I don't know if there's other watercolor crayons out there. There must be. They actually call these pastels, but um, I call them crayons because they look like crayons and they feel like crayons. <laughs> so crayons they are in my world. And so the beginning you just want to put a lot of water with the acrylic paint. You don't have to use the exact acrylic paint I'm using. Any acrylic paint will work with lots and lots of water. And you can do it in so many different ways. You could mix the paint first and then pour it on, or you can do like I'm doing and add the water after the paint has already gone on the canvas. You can probably see on my canvas that there's green already, and I'm kind of covering that up. That's because I'm using the same canvas I used yesterday to lay color down. And then once this acrylic is laid down, we start to go in with the watercolor crayons and that's the part that I like the most. It's just so much fun because they just spread everywhere and it's so fun. I love the way they feel on the wet canvas and they just seem to sort of melt into it. I don't know if you've ever done that re a really fun activity with hot rocks and you melt crayons on the hot rocks. Well, it's kind of like that. Like it just has such a cool feel when you're doing it. So I am always hoping that you're joining me, but I understand in this instance, there are kind of some specialized tools, I guess. So if you don't have these, you don't have these crayons or you don't have raw canvas, that's no worries. No worries at all. Just, just scribble along beside me with whatever you do have. And if you feel inspired to give it a try, these watercolor crayons do come at some stores available. You can just purchase like one color at a time, which makes it a, a much more affordable option. And I think you could try this on an old t-shirt or maybe a, an old pair of jeans or something like that. If you actually wash it, I think it would all wash out. So I'm not suggesting doing it on something that you want it to keep. But I think any fabric would work for this. Is it kind of looking like a 
flower in a way. I'm a really big fan of any medium or technique that doesn't really allow you a lot of control. You have some control, no doubt. You have choices you can make, but in the end, the paint and the water, in this case, go where they like. They spread and become something totally different than where you laid it. And I just love that. It's a co-creation. And there's something about taking away the feeling of being the only one doing something in a process that's quite liberating, isn't it? Oof. This was not what I had in mind, but for a color palette, when I was seeing it in my mind's eye when I got started. But this is what I was drawn to in that moment, and so I go with it. That's, that's the main practice for me here. Going with what I feel in each moment. Listening. to what wants to express itself in each moment, even if it's not what my original attention meant to be. starts to feel a little dry, just dip it in the water and it will spread even more. supplies out beside me and not put them right back into the container just in case I want to use the same colors again and I forget which colors I used. this color in particular spreads it really spiders out <laughs>
Yeah, okay, that's done for today. I had a good time again. I hope you create something today. Just anything, really. And just pay attention to the process rather than what you end up with after it's done.